Hi friends! Okay, um, so this episode of Steven Universe was called Together Breakfast. Um, and it didn't focus on, um, developing the characters' relationships or anything, um, unlike the last two episodes that I watched, which focused on that a lot. This one was more of like a, um, kind of relaxed and, um, how do I say it? It was just kind of a chill episode, something fun to tide you over until the next big, like, character interaction kind of thing. Um, so, the whole premise of the episode was that Stephen made breakfast for everyone and he wants to share it with them, but everyone's kind of busy doing their own thing and, uh, so he goes after them into this temple in their house and I don't understand because they never had a temple in their house before as far as I can remember and I'm kind of wondering where that came from but eh. um so yeah he follows them in there and um it, it, it had some very interesting visuals, uh, I'll say that. But anyway, um, when he does make this pancake thing, he makes a pun, and that made me smile. And it was like a literal pancake, because this thing had so much junk on it, um, it just looked like sugar overload. But anyway, so when he goes into this temple place, um, Pearl was, like, doing some kind of sword ballet, and that looked really cool. And, uh, there were a lot of cool visuals, like there was this water slide thing that defied gravity, and there was a part where Amethyst was chasing him because she wanted to eat the together breakfast by herself, and he was like, no, no, you can't do that, that defeats the whole purpose. And they were, like, running upside down and stuff. And I swear, Steven has some major skills to be able to keep the little stack together going through all this crap, water slides and running upside down and stuff. Like, wow, <laughs> he's got some major skills. And uh, there's uh, some comedic points that happen with that. But um, he ends up in this room um, that has a thing called the crystal heart in there, and I'm like, hmm, the crystal heart, that sounds very familiar. They use that kind of item name in, like, every children's cartoon ever. <laughs> um, so, yeah, pretty sure, I know it was in My Little Pony, I'm pretty sure there was a crystal heart in Adventure Time. Um, there was a crystal heart in which, um, which I think later they call it by a different name, but anyway, the point is a crystal heart is used in a lot of children's media, so they need to think of like another cool item name that they can use instead so that it's not just all the same in everything. Um, so anyway, um, eventually he finds his way into this room where Garnet is burning the, I guess it was a poster or like art of some kind that um, I suppose was being possessed by this smoke monster because when she burns the poster um, the smoke monster comes out of it, and she's, like, trying to contain it in a force field bubble thing. And, uh, Steven distracts her, of course, and it gets loose, and it possesses his breakfast that he was trying to share with everyone. And then it starts attacking them. And that, uh... The visuals of the 
breakfast monster thing attacking everyone kind of reminded me of Madoka Magica when um, the witch that Mommy was fighting comes out and, you know, I, I don't want to say it in case people out there who haven't watched Madoka Magica, like, I don't want to spoil it for you, but something happens. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. No one in the comments spoil anything. But, um, yeah. So after that, um, Steven defeats the monster by basically shoving it into the fire pit. And afterwards, they all work together to rebuild the together breakfast. But none of them can bring themselves to actually eat the new creation because... They're like, hmm, the last one did try to kill us. I don't think we can actually eat this. Let's just order a pizza. <laughs> so, yeah, that was pretty funny. Um, overall, I did enjoy this episode, but um, probably not as much as the character building ones. Um... I did think the episode was good as kind of like a comedic, like, taking a breather in between maybe the heavier episodes, so I feel like it might have had more of a place later in the season because we've only really gotten like two episodes where there's really character development, so... Yeah, that's just my thoughts, though. It was still an enjoyable episode, and it felt like it went by really fast, so it's not like it was dragging on or anything. Um, but, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I'm just hoping that the next one will have a nice balance of cool-looking visuals while also having the character building. Um, so that's all I have to say about this one. Until next episode, bye!